Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in this world. Thank you for clicking this video. In today's topic, I wanna to talk about our make basic training packing list essentials that I think you should bring to basic training. Everybody knows that your recruiter will give you a list of things that you need to bring. And I wanna say, and I wanna give you a big tip, you don't have to bring everything that is on there. You, the trick is to pack very, very light. I'm gonna say this again, the trick is to pack very, very light. You will make your life so much easier, so, so much easier, because uh, you have, let me put it in a perspective where you can understand. If you pack so many things, you're gonna to have to carry all that stuff. And also during reception, and once you get to your basic training unit after reception, there's this thing, a process called layouts, where the basic training drill sergeants are gonna have you drop everything that you have, and they're going to inspect everything, and they're going to make you put things that are only allowed in their barracks. And some things, a lot of privates, and specialists, uh, just because they come in in that rank, they're privates too. Um, they don't know things that they can or cannot bring because they're misinformed. Uh, they watch the wrong videos on YouTube and whatnot and get bad advice. But in this video, just your luck, I will give you just the essentials that you will need and things, extra things that will make your life so much easier and efficient. So let's get to it. Oh, and I'd like to say that I put it in a list in an order that I think is of most important. And then as the list goes down, not optional, I still recommend it, but it's not as important. So let's get right to it. So the first item that I think is an essential to basic training, um, of course, the clothes on your back. Just think what you're wearing. Now the first item will be a watch. Uh, this is a G-Shock. I didn't even purchase this, a good friend of mine of me and my wife uh, gave me this as a uh, farewell gift. And uh, this is $50, but you don't have to buy this watch. I actually found a cheaper watch that uh, my basic battle buddies would, that they had, that is so much cheaper, does the same job, and is, um, yeah, just a watch. You don't need a special watch. You don't wanna bring an expensive watch. I'm telling you, I had this buddy who had a $300 watch, um, made in Japan of some sort, and it got stolen. So do not do that. Uh, you wanna keep, have a cheap watch. And I like to say they do offer everything that I'm gonna show you. Um, most of these things they don't have at the PX exchange where you can buy at basic training when the time allows. Uh, but um, I think while you're in the civilian world that you should buy these things because um, you can get better things in the civilian world and also you just come prepared with more efficient things uh, that I think will help you tremendously. So uh, you wanna buy a watch. Um, I wanna say that everything that I'm recommending, I'm gonna put a link below so you can buy it. Um, I wanna say two more things. I pick things that are affordable and things that I believe will make your life easier. So yeah, uh, efficient, affordable, and make your life easier. So the first one is a watch. Um, there's a watch uh, on Amazon that's like $14 that's on the link in the description link below. Uh, buy that one and it'll make your life so much easier. And the next thing is a plastic card holder. This card holds uh, credit cards and uh, yeah, the most important thing that you will always have to carry during your military career is your cap. It's the uh, military card that they issue to you at reception. It's this, I can't show you because um, it's sensitive uh, information, but uh, Having it like this not only looks professional, but it also protects all the context, uh, the card content inside uh, your CAC and also like a credit card, there's a chip on it. And if that chip gets damaged, that card no longer works and it's no longer serviceable. So you wanna keep everything in this so it won't damage it. Uh, this is a lifesaver. I've had a lot of battle buddies who've had the uh, CAC cards, chip cards, Damage, so they had to get a new one, and it's a whole process. You have to ask drill sergeants, they're not happy with it, no one's happy. So keep everything safe on scratch. The next item, ooh, this one it's an all weather proof. Uh, this company is called Write in the Rain, but it's an all weather notebook. So uh, you can write on here through all kinds of weather through rain. I remember using this on uh, during my uh, 
hammer anvil and the last event in basic training but um, i went to fort leonard wood by the way fort leonard wood missouri uh, fort leonard lost in the woods but um that's for another video but um the weather was really bad there uh, and it would constantly rain and um, a lot of folks had normal notebooks like these and uh, they're not weaterproof so it would point it would be pointless to write on it so if you have this oh man it will save you so much trouble as you can see I've had this for like months and everything works just perfect. Um, it's an all weatherproof uh, notebook and also all weatherproof uh, pen. Uh, these come in sets, so uh, go down in the link below, purchase it, and um, it will definitely help you. Um, oof, this one's a big one. A master padlock, you need two. I will go into detail, but um, People argue say and say, why don't you just get a combination lock? I say no to that. Reason being is it takes time to open a combination lock. And sometimes um, once you get to basic training, you will see that it's better to have one of these because it makes everything so much easier. You just put a key. Look, that took like one second. And, uh, but a padlock will take at least a minimum of 15 seconds. That's if you don't mess up. And when you're rushed and in a hurry, you will most likely mess up so it'll take you a cool minute um, so get one of these and it's also very important because i hate to admit it in the army there's a lot of five finger discounts um your battle buddies will steal your stuff if it means covering their butts and what i mean by that is uh, there's a lot of gear that's issued issue to you uh, like cif gear uh, like your military equipment and stuff like you're gonna need for your training exercises but uh, if they lose those things or if you lose those things you have to pay for it so what does your battle buddy next to you do it takes your stuff and claims it as his own and yeah it's gonna happen and you're gonna see there's gonna be so much drama so save yourself the trouble get one of these especially this one with a key and uh, you won't have to go through that uh it goes so far as to like they'll even steal your stuff while you're doing laundry oh man i know huh you're thinking in the laundry they'll take your stuff but trust me they'll take your stuff so um keep that in mind it's a tip uh, just be mindful of all your stuff and don't forget to lock your locker make it a habit because if you don't two people are gonna get to it your battle buddies and your drill sergeants, and you don't want your drill sergeants to get in there. They will toss every single little thing, and I mean every single little thing. So yeah, so that's one. Two, you wanna get this um, TSA approved lock. Uh, the reason being for this one is because uh, once you go to basic training through the plane, um, you wanna keep your book back locked. I'm not saying that, air, like, uh, what you call it? Airport personnel are not to be trusted, but uh, it's good habits to keep everything secure because you're gonna have important things in your book bag, like your social security card, your passport and all these things. And uh, you just wanna go above and beyond to keep everything safe. So that's one thing that I've always done. So get one of these. Um, ooh, this one. A lot of people are not organized. And if you buy this little nifty uh, divider folder, it will help you and help you help you keep organized so um, you have a lot of paperwork when you get to med when you get to reception when you get to basic believe me you will get a lot of paperwork so uh, keep everything in here i actually went and bought this for like a dollar at a store called daiso in california d-a-i-s-o but i don't know if that's like nationwide but i'm sure if you go to 99 cent store or you like your cheap uh store in your state that they will have some form of this but good thing is everything's online and i recommend buying things online due to corona uh, you don't want to go outside and uh get corona so buy everything online it will make your life easier and it's also cheaper next thing you're gonna need a mask if you're joining post covid these are one of the requirements these are the actual issued mask face masks from hanes that they're gonna make you wear. Um, the reason why I say to buy a couple of these is because they only issue one to you and these get nasty um, fast. And if you don't wanna do laundry every day, it's good to have a, 
a pair of these and they're very cheap you could get like 10 for like six bucks so i would definitely invest in that um yeah you want this um now let's get into things that you're gonna need for everyday use you're gonna want to buy a soap case i don't have a soap case right now i lost it or i think someone took it but it's okay uh, you're gonna want a soap case because trust me you want to practice good hygiene you don't want to leave the soap on the available spot where you know where you where to put the soap because you don't know if they clean it and you don't know how many people are putting their soap you know they're washing themselves putting their soap in spots that you don't want your soap to be in and cross contamination do yourself a favor uh, get a soap case and um, you're gonna thank me for that uh, the next thing while we are in toilet treats Toothbrush, obviously, is one of the things you need. Um, I didn't put a link of toothbrush because everybody has a toothbrush, I hope. Um, but you're gonna need one of these, or uh, it's a toothbrush case. Uh, they have toothbrush cases that cover the whole toothbrush. I have one of those, but I just so happen to have these in hand. So uh, buy one of these because you don't wanna, you wanna practice good hygiene, like I said, especially with this whole COVID-19, Corona. Um, once you get to basic training, you're gonna see that it's very serious. They take you very seriously and you should take it seriously. Um, yeah, I can't talk about that deeper, but get a toothbrush case. Uh, next, ooh, this is the golden nugget for all toiletries. Get yourself a toiletry bag. This will make your life so much easier and you'll look freaking high speed, high speed. Um, this will make your life so much easier. Whenever you gotta do your business in the latrine, in the bathroom, the latrine is called a bathroom, just carry this bag and it makes things so much easier rather than taking like your, your shaving cream, your razor and all these other things, toilet paper, buy a toiletry bag and um, this goes without saying, you're gonna need a razor. You're gonna wanna buy a good razor with multiple disposable heads. And of course, your shaving cream. I didn't put that on the list or with a link, but I did put a link on this uh, razor. You're gonna want that, you're gonna need that. And the last thing that you're gonna need for not toiletries, but bathroom essentials are these. They do issue these, not these, particular sandals oh, or shower shoes at uh, basic training, but they issue them, but they're very cheap and they break and you don't want to go through that. And uh, you don't want to be on your feet in the shower. That's disgusting. You're going to get like athlete's foot. Next. Flashlight. But I would buy a headlamp, but it has to be with a red light and white light lens. Uh, and I like to explain that because although this is good, you have to hold it. If you have a headlamp, it makes everything easier. Gives your hands, you know, keeps them free. And also um, you'll learn once you get to the army, you can't put anything like on your uniform or make things hang from anywhere. You always have to have it in your hand. You have to be professional. And if you have a headlamp, it will definitely um, help keep your hands free to do other things. When you're pulling fire guard, especially, uh, you will be issued a weapon and you get the picture. You're holding a flashlight, a flashlight and a weapon. Yeah. Three more things and we're almost done. Or three or four. Ziploc bags, jumbo Ziploc bags. You are definitely gonna need these. Uh, these are uh, multi-purpose use during basic training, uh, but it keeps things organized. And also the second reason, when you go to your field training exercises like the hammer and anvil, you're gonna have to pack, you're gonna get a packing list of all the things that you need to put in your rucksack. And um, if you range your roll, I'll teach you how to do range your roll on another video. Uh, just. Leave a comment if you like me to, and like and subscribe. Um, but if you range roll and put everything into categories in your Ziploc bag, not only is it gonna make it organized, 
But if you squeeze all the air out, close it, and put in your rucksack, it saves so much room. It makes a huge difference. And trust me, when you're rucking, you don't want a big rucksack. You want to have the intact, impact, nice and tight, small, so you can have less pressure on your back and shoulders. All right. Well, that will come later. External battery charger. Uh, this is kind of self-explanatory. Um, I'm pretty sure the majority of people have this, but uh, while you're going through the faces, like red face, white face, blue face, they have yellow face now. That's for another video. Um, you don't want to have these because along as you progress through the faces, you do get privileges and phone privileges to like talk to your family, tell them what's up, what's going on. Not only that, but also to just use your phone if you like. Some people don't call their families. Uh, everybody has different uh, family relations and. Um, and that's completely fine, but you don't want this because your fat battery does die even though your phone is off. And the reason being is because there's external programs that go on even though your device is off. So when you turn it on, when it comes time to using it, you will not have battery. So you would want to have this. Um, yes, people will say you can just charge it, but you only get like five, 10 minutes. That's if they're lenient. And if you just pop this in, you can just use your phone right away, and it helps a lot of time. So get one of these. Um, last two items. I have a backpack. Uh, some recruiters I've heard they issue these as a, like a little gift for joining. Some people didn't get that service. So, but if you don't, just make sure to just click the link below and just purchase that. It's a cheap transport backpack. It's the cheapest one that I could find. And yeah, it'll save you a lot of money in your wallet. If you don't have one, make sure you can buy one, but you're gonna need this. Yeah, you're gonna need this. And the last thing, um, so you get issued camel bags, basically where you drink all your water. These things get filled. So you can put bleach in there and wash it and whatnot, but it's a pain in the bosom. Um, what I recommend, I didn't do this, I just cleaned it, which is the pain. Uh, but uh, since I'm done with basic and I'm almost done with the AIC, I have one week left and I'm out of here. I'm going to Alaska. I'll post another video about that. I'm going to Fort Wayne, White, Alaska. But anyways, you're going to want a camel bag tablet cleanser. All you do is put a tablet in there, put some water, it dissolves, it cleans your camel bag, and then you can just fill it up with water again uh, after you rinse it a couple of times. and. You just want to be very careful with the water that you drink because a mold, a lot of people in basic training have mold in the camel bags and that would correlate to them getting sick. And you do not want to get sick, especially with this whole um, health crisis going on. And um, you'll know once you get to basic training, you'll, you'll see. You'll see why it's important to practice good hygiene, hygiene, everything is really important. So um, I think I've gone over everything that is essential. Everything will fit in that small backpack of yours. And you will be packing very light. So you, you will, it will be easy on you. That's the easy carry. Um, some people came with luggage of things and they had to carry that up the stairs and all that stuff. That was funny, but I'm sure they didn't think it was funny. Um, so just pack light and um, I promise you, if you get all these things, it will make your life easier. Yes, you can buy things at the PX once you get your Eagle card, like uh, you get like an advancement pay that the army gives you of $250 that you can use to buy stuff at the store, the PX exchange. But um, honestly, this will save you money, time, and save you a lot of stress. Um, that's a big thing. I wanted to have less stress as possible going in, especially during ref phase. So uh, consider buying these things. You don't have to, but I put a lot of thought into it and this will definitely make your life easier. Once again, I wanna say thank you for watching this video and like, comment, subscribe, and push that bell notification if you like my content. If you have suggestions of other topics that you'd like to hear me talk about, make sure to leave a comment down below. I will answer you. I will answer you. I will go through every comment and answer you 
and um, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one, y'all.